Go. Yo, go fuck yourselves now, okay?
tiny. What? Quit. Shit. That ain't gonna last. Excited? Yep. Want some juice? Yep. All right, then you help me set the table. I made y'all a meatloaf. Hope you're staying for supper. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, what time you got to work? Want me to warm up a corn for you? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. I ain't on tonight. What? Friday night, you ain't on? What the hell is that? Baby, why don't you go grab a chair, huh? That cocksucker Mark better be giving you your time, or I'm gonna go over there and bust in his teeth. Why ain't there no beer? I ain't dancing no more, Sam. Quit a couple weeks ago, got a job over at Fremont. Are you telling me the truth, or is this a joke? Pick up a second shift every now and then, weekends if I want them. It's good money. Good money? What, are you stupid, woman? You quit stripping? To pack fucking mushrooms at yeah. Fremont? Ma, keep your mouth shut. They're good to me over there, Sam. They got daycare for Paige. No. Medical at the I'll end of the you. year. I'll tell you what you're gonna do. You're going back to the bunny hop, and you're gonna get that cocksucker to give you your old slot back. You wanna go outside and ride your bike? No, Sam. Fuck you ain't. You're gonna get your ass back up there and make your tips. It ain't right. What are you talking about? I ain't dancing no more because it ain't right in the eyes of God. You don't oh, want me doing that oh, no more. Oh, you found God now, huh? That's what He this found is. me. And he's there for you oh, too, baby. Shit. You're a fucking junkie stripper, and you know it. Not no more. Gotta help me change while you was away. Get your hands off me. You can't keep going the way you've been going.
right up here. Open up, man. You there? Come on, man. Open up. Fuck are you, man? It's me, man. Come on, let me in. It's fucking cold. I don't know you. Yeah, you do. We were hanging out the other day on Bobby's front. The fuck is Bobby, man? Get your crack ass. Hey, have it your way. Take you as far as McClure. Take me to Dunshore. You ain't going to Dunshore. Say, so take you as far as. <laughs> what the uh, fuck? Uh, uh, what uh, the uh, fuck? Uh, fuck uh, man. Uh, take that fucking blade off him. Dunshore, yeah. boy, for this fucking fool. Take that fucking blade off him. Yeah. No! No! Oh, no! 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 States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation 
One nation. Under God. Under God. Indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Coming or rainy? I don't know. Honey, you ready? I don't got no good shoes, Lana. Oh, baby, you don't care what kind of shoes you're wearing. He breathes his spirit into the darkness and he makes something good. He sees our shadow, and he says, let there be light. The point of receiving God's word is life. Yeah. Life upon life. And to accept the blood of Jesus, that is life upon life upon life. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. In Mark, it talks about John the Baptist, how he went about baptizing with water. But John says, there's coming one after me who's mightier than I. I'm unworthy to even unlace the thong of his sandal. I baptize the water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. So let us now proclaim his saving grace. If there are sinners here today looking for God, I want you to raise your hands. Come on, raise them up high to heaven. Raise your hands and stand up. Come on now, stand up. Receive Jesus Christ as your light and your Savior. Stand up. Brother, I see it. I see that look of doubt in your eye. I know you're thinking, I'm just too dirty a sinner. He can't forgive me. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. You just knock and be received. Come on now, stand up. Come on home to Jesus. Yes, sir. Stand up. All right. All right. Hallelujah. We're going to wash away our sins in the blood of the Lamb. We're going to baptize right now. Come on down. Come on down right now. Come on down. Everybody, come on down here. Yeah. Praise We're going to save some folks tonight. Just come on down there. Come on, brother. We're going to save you now. Come on in. Yes, I want you to cross your arms now. Cross your arms. Yes, sir. Stand right here. Okay. Upon your confession of faith and your obedience to the word of God regarding his death, burial, and resurrection, I do indeed baptize you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Give you a call if something breaks. You do good work. Thanks. And out of the houses, the rats came tumbling. Brother rats, sister rats, and husband rats followed their little rat wives till they came to the raging water where they drowned and lost their lives. I don't deal bikes. You might have a better shot if you take it over to the pit or maybe down to Philly. I gotta sell it today. I got something in pit, but you gotta have some college for that.
Oh, well, well. I was wondering when I see you again, man. How you doing, bud? I'm doing. Yeah. I miss you. How did you uh, found Jesus? Yeah, I love that. Hallelujah. Hey, uh, Jack, give me a mash in the bun, huh? Hey, Sam. Hey, Jack. You want something? Good. Hey, you know, that old Indian didn't die that night. Yeah, I saw it on the TV. Somebody picked the poor bastard up and took him to the emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> you believe that shit? Guy was looking out for both of us, I suppose, then, huh? Well, here's to him. Yeah. I didn't hear you pull up. No, I got Wynn's car. She broke down on you? I sold her. No fucking way, man. You should have come seeing your old buddy first. I don't know. You want to taste it? Sorry, I'm late. He gave blood over in pit. what now looks like a tornado outbreak moving into eastern Pennsylvania. And we've now confirmed two tornadoes that have touched down in the Harrisburg area. Two touched down in Harrisburg. Very fast, moving northeast towards Allentown, Reading, and Lancaster. So the tornado...
Sam! Hey, Billy. Tried ringing you, but your phone's down. That damn twister touched down eight places between here and Noblesville. Chewed up 600 homes in Fulton County alone. Got all the work he can handle if you're interested. I'm interested. But I'm putting my own crew together. We go 50-50 on the jobs. You cover me and any heavy machines I need. 60-40 till you pay me back on the tools. Then we go half and you got a deal. Check it out. The room's upstairs. It's the small one. That's everything. Filthy Sam Children. Who you call a filthy woman? You. Well, you're filthier than I am. <laughs> Today, we have a special guest. It is my pleasure to present to you Pastor Relling from the Kilinjari Christian Mission in Uganda, Africa. Pastor Relling. Thank you, Pastor Kraus, and thank you, brothers and sisters, for inviting me into this house of the Lord. I'm here today to talk to you about your Christian brothers and sisters, families just like yours, half a world away, that desperately need your help. Though they might appear to be strangers, living a life very different from our own, in God's eyes, every man is a brother, and every soul is deserving of your Christian charity. Fuck, man. What are you doing here? I'm here for that boy right there. You're gonna get in the way of that. Oh, Sammy, I can't do it. I can't. I can't. God, don't make trash, boy. He ain't giving up on you, so don't you give up on him. You hear me? What was wrong with her anyway? Well, I don't know. They called it thrombosis. And she couldn't walk. She couldn't drive anymore. But, you know, I think that prayer circle made all the difference in the world. And now she can get her hair done. That's right. Okay, why don't you go grab some more beans, wait? No, I was thinking about that bell all Sunday. What bell? That, um, Pastor Welling. Mm. The, uh, um, missionary That's bell. That's a nice looking man. Thanks, oh, baby. yeah, he talked funny. Huh? Yeah, he's just from a different place than us, baby. That's all. Yeah, I like what they're doing down there. Mm. I think it's a good cause. It sure is. I was thinking maybe I could go over there, you know? And see what they got going on. Africa? Yeah. You mean, like, to help them? 
Yeah, why not? Reckon they can do with all the help they can get, especially in construction. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good Time idea. I'm going to do that. What about the business? What about that job you got going over in Boswell? The job's going to be finished in five days. I'm going to be gone for a few weeks, so I'll be back before you know it. Well, it's not so long. We'll be fine. Mm -hmm. It's not so long. Yeah? It's a nice idea, Sam. Yeah. What are you? Ugandan army or something? SPLA, Sudanese People's Liberation Army. Yeah, I don't know that. What's that? We are freedom fighters. Yeah. Well, hello, freedom fighters. I'm Sam. My name is Deng. Deng? Nice to meet you, Deng. Sam. Marco. Hey, Marco. So you boys busy or maybe you can give me a hand with the rubble. No. No, I didn't think so. All right, good. Well, I'll let you guys get back to what you were doing. But I'll be seeing you around. Childers. Some of us are going into Kampala tomorrow night. Try to find a little fun this weekend. You want to come along? Actually, I was thinking of going up north. <laughs> You're crazy. There's a civil war going on up there. I know. Suit yourself. Hey, Dan. Want a coke? Yes. Go. Thank you. Ooh. Got a cool breeze blowing through the shade here. It's very hot today. Yeah. I got a question for you. I want to go into Sudan this weekend. Need someone to show me around. You interested? The others are going to Kampala. I know. That ain't my speed no more. I want to see some country. You want to see? Can this thing go any faster? I wish it could. Traveling is the most dangerous time in Sudan. If the rebels find us on the open road, it will be very bad. Where are you from? From a little village called Awil. Many hours from here. And you? Are you from New York City? No. I ain't no city boy. I'm a hillbilly from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. That's it. Pennsylvania. Is it, it well where your family is? Not anymore. My family was killed by the LRA. The Muslim North has been killing the Christians in the South for over 30 years. Two million of my people lost their lives. These people have been driven from their villages, but as you can see, these camps are now much better. Cholera and malaria are everywhere. Even here, they are afraid the LRE will attack at night. Iwa, Peshiro. 
Ik zal daar uw klap maken. Sorry, I will be right back. Of course. What you gotta do? Excuse me, you. Black shirt. Come over here, please help me. I need to transfer this woman to the bed. Grab her by her shoulders. One, two, three. What do we have here? Trauma to the lips. Can I have some gauze, please, for that expression? What happened? Trauma to the lips, I can hear you. What happened to her face? She argued with the rebels, so they cut off her lips. These are Coney's orders. Who's Coney? Who are you with? I'm a dang over there. Which organization? I'm with the Christian group down in the, the south. I'm just up here taking a taking a look around. <laughs> this isn't a tourist destination. This is a war zone. If you stay here, you're going to get killed. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Some people say Kony is a wizard, a shapeshifter. He calls himself a Christian, but I say he's Satan. Who devours his own people. So Coney is the he's the leader of the LRA? Yes, he's the one we've been fighting for years. But there's very little we can do. Our weapons are old, our boots full of holes. We've been forgotten by the whole world. What are you doing here? Excuse me. What are you looking for in this place? I ain't looking for nothing. So, you get your picture taken, you go back to your life, and all this will be stories you will tell your friends. Yeah, maybe. Hey, can I take a look at that gun? Say she's jamming on you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's because she's full of dirt. Dirt and grit. You gotta strip her down once a day. Keep her well oiled. No wonder she's jamming on you. Are you military? Hell no. I just like my guns. The night commuters, they come from deep in the bush. Their parents send them out because it's safer to sleep here than in their own homes. Why? Because death comes at night in the villages. These are the lucky ones so far, the ones the rebels haven't found yet. Sam. Come on. Get up. Let's go. Come on, get up. Let's go. Get up. Hey, get up. Let's go. Get a move on. Get up. Hey, what? come on. Get up. What are you doing? Let's go. Get up. They ain't sleeping out here. Tell them they're coming inside. Come on. Y'all get up. Sam. Let's go. Sam. There are too many. You can't have them all. Well, I can take these ones here. Yeah? Come on inside. Come on. Hurry up. Here you come. Come on. Take a bed. Sobu. Sobu, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
Some. Sam, Joel Ari attacked the village last night. You said you wanted to see. Tigers over there? No, I didn't see no tigers. Do they even have tigers over there? I don't think so. You going on a safari? No. said plane, I'm thinking of a train. You said train, I'm thinking of a brain. You said brain, I'm thinking of a... Gotcha. Okay, you got me. Okay. You could have said drain or main. <sighs> what was his name? Sweet dreams, bud. Good night, Dad. Good night. I'm glad you're home. Coming to bed?
baby. Baby. What you doing? Making plans. You been to bed yet? No. I had a vision last night, Lynn. I know it sounds crazy, but God spoke to me. Yeah, here, take a look at this. All right, take a look at over here. I'm gonna build a church. A church? Yeah, right across the street. But not a church like Faith United or Calvary Fellowship, you know. I know a place that ain't gonna turn you away if you're a prostitute or a drug addict or something. You know, a place for sinners just like me, but, but who want to hear the word of God. How are you going to pay for a church? Well, we got money in the bank. Business is good. Besides, I own a construction company, so I'm going to give us one heck of a good deal on the build. You're crazy. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Now, here, take a look at this. that I'm going to build in Sudan. Frank, make sure that side is closed. All right, Jim. Folks are sounding pretty, pretty good up here. Gotta say, ah, uh, uh. <clears throat> sorry. Yeah. How's that? You good? Yeah. Well, I'd like to uh, thank y'all for coming out today for the first day of worship here at Shekinah Fellowship Church. never really been too keen on talking in front of people. Uh, but the guest speaker that we had today, well, he didn't show up, so I thought I would get up and say a few words. Uh, okay, well, a lot of you knows me pretty good. Knows I ain't exactly the best seed in the bunch. Uh, maybe you was wondering what made me want to build this here church. I gotta tell you that standing up here right now, I ain't so sure myself. <laughs> <coughs> But God don't only call the good. I reckon every now and again he calls us sinners too, and I was about as bad as they come. <sighs> a bunch of years ago I was in the woods. I was running from some pretty bad fellows. Woods over there by, by Cleary. And uh, those old boys, they was coming after me pretty hard. Well, I reached in my bag. I was looking for my old shotgun, and, well, it was gone. Now, my mama took it out when I wasn't looking and shoved this here Bible in there instead. Yes, she did. Well, I figured I was pretty much done for, so I sat down under an old tree with this useless book in my hand, and I just waited. And then the strangest thing happened. Those boys, they just, they 
ran right on past me. They didn't even see me sitting there. Now, the way I figure it, things would have turned out pretty different if I pulled out that shotgun instead of this here Bible. But you know, it got me thinking. God is looking out for each and every one of you too. And all you gotta do is just open the door and let him right on in. Amen. Amen. Before you know it. You missed my play. No, Mom, it's a videotape for me. I gotta get. You watch out for him when I'm gone, old buddy, okay? That's done, man. Huh? Came all over here to build us some new books. I think it's a heck of a good idea. We better a little further south towards Kampala. Oh, if I wanted to be closer to Kampala, I'd be closer to Kampala. But I want to be right here. What are you saying? What's he saying? So the north is very dangerous. Villages in this area are very remote, Mr. Shilnes. There's nothing there. Then I would think that them people need help the most. Oh, we've got the loo. This is a war zone, Mr. Chilas. The LRA will kill you. Look, I don't think you understand what I'm saying, so let me make it real clear to you. I'm buying this land. This is what can unite us. Arabism cannot unite us. Africanism that is opposed to Oruba cannot unite us. Islam cannot unite us. But Sudanism, Sudanism can unite us because it is a common factor. <laughs> Out of there. Get all dirty. You sure you don't want to play someplace else? No. No. Come on. Sam. Yeah. This is Betty. She's from Petito. Hey, Betty, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. She knows you need someone to run the orphanage. Yeah. I said stay out of there. I'm looking for somebody. Help me keep the place in order. Look after things while I'm away. She can do this. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, what about the children? Can she feed the children, uh, fix them up when they're sick? Can she do that? Ling. She's hired. Thank you. Say prayers or something? I already did. Oh. Oh. All right. 
Sweet dreams. Ain't you gonna read me a book? No. Then let's play a game. Yeah. I'm thinking of a dog. What about it? Never mind, Nani. All right. My dad usually gives me a kiss on the forehead before he leaves. You can do that. Yeah. Sure. Night, Donnie. Sweet dreams. Around 20. Where are you met? Down there. Give me a gun. Church, that's our best shot. I'm gonna get the kids, cover me. Okay? It's all gone. All of it. 
They burn it down. Nothing left. Where are you? In my way. It's a test, Sam. Can't do it no more, Lynn. It's over. Sam. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Them kids have had their whole lives burned to the ground and worse. How many of them you see giving up? God gave you purpose, Sam Schillers. Now get off your butt, stop your crying, and build it again. Can you hear me? Now stay nice and spread out. Hey, what's what's this? No patty cakes. None of that. You're short. Stop. You're here. Don't move. Coffee. You ready? Remember what I said? Okay. Put your right hand there. Left hand there. Right hand there. Swing through. There you go. Okay. Yeah? You look great, Poppy. Yeah. You look great. Matak, pay attention. Ready, pitch? Yes. Is everybody ready? Everybody ready on field? All right, yellow. Let's play baseball. All right, Matak. Nice and easy. Give me a pitch. What are you doing? Don't kick the ball. What are you doing? It's supposed to be baseball. <laughs> There was an attack outside our Giovanni. She's saying, she's asking what she did wrong. You didn't do nothing wrong. She wants to know if you are the preacher. Yeah, I'm the preacher. You tell her she's gonna be okay. Hey, Mike. Where are you going? Hide your money. Sam. Sam, please wait. No, I ain't waiting around no more for this to happen. See where waiting gets you?
Hey, buddy. Ain't you gonna say nothing? I'll see you later. I see you have a bodyguard. <laughs> Guess I do. Take care of things while I'm gone, okay? I will put you back. Can't come with me, buddy. Come on. Atla bin Hina. William. In your actions, you give service to the Lord. He's not interested in your good intentions. Your good thoughts. No, he wants your backs, your hands, your sweat, 
your blood to pour into the foundation that will build up his kingdom. Amen. Amen. What do you think? I think it's great. We started daycare last month, Monday through Friday from 8 to 2. Sundays after first worship for a few hours if anybody needs it. I'm thinking maybe we could set up a, a playground some mass uh, swings, oh, some, no. some things the kids can climb on. Oh, we can't build anymore, not for a while. You said Sundays has been full. Yeah, it's been full, but that doesn't mean people are given money like today. You know, economy's slow, construction business is slow. Times is tight. It'll be good for them kids, Lynn. Yeah, well, they got the playground over at Cairnbrook, and they can play at the school on the weekends if they want. No, no, no. I'm talking about Africa. But I heard you built yourself one hell of a church over there in Central City. Yeah, we set it up pretty good, but we still got a ways to go. Anyways, Bill, the reason I, I called you, the reason I'm here, is because I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about our outreach program. You know, the thing we're doing over there in Africa. Of course I know about what you're doing over there. I mean, hell of a thing, Sam, helping out those kids. God bless you. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate that. I do. But I got to be straight with you. We are hurting for money. Now, if we had the support of good people like yourselves, it sure would help things go a lot smoother over there. Oh, Sam, everybody around here is feeling the pain. I hear that, Bill, I do, but if humans could just see what it is we're doing down there, I mean, it's about more than the money. And I ain't asking for a lot. How no, much you looking for? $5,000. Oh, Jesus Christ, say $5,000. Oh, come on, dollars. Bill, that ain't hardly gonna put you out there on the street now, is it? Well, that's not the no, point. And, and that's gonna keep them doors open for another six months. Look around here. People are losing their jobs left and right. It's tough to go asking for $5,000 for a bunch of African children halfway around the world. Well, I understand that. We got problems right here, but this is a different kind of problem. Different how? That, that orphanage is the last hope these kids got. Now, with that kind of money, we can feed them kids, house them kids, buy me a new generator, which is sorely needed. I gotta tell you, Bill, you would be saving a hell of a lot of lives. All right, here's what I'll do. I'll see what I can come up with. Okay. All right. Okay, Bill. Okay. Hey, why don't you bring the family over next Sunday? We're having a little bit of a barbecue. Oh, come on in. Welcome. I am Shannon Billsball and Cherry. This is Lynn. This here is Paige. Good to meet you. There he is. Paige. Hey, Sam, glad you all could make it. Oh, who's this lovely guy, please? Paige. Uh, I'll tell you what, you come on in here and meet some people. This is the gentleman I was telling you. This is the gentleman I was telling you. Sam, here you are. A little something for the kids, okay? What we were talking about earlier. Thank you. Now. Yes, no more. Get in the car. Is everything all right? Oh, thank you. What is wrong? Son of a bitch is crying poor mouth to me, and he's living in the damn Taj Mahal. I asked him for $5,000 to feed a bunch of motherless babies, and you know what he gave me? 150 bucks. He spent more than that on salsa for his party. We are locked in a fight with the devil. Now, I can't do this on my own. I can't take the pressure and the pain and the loneliness. I need each one of you to back me up. And I need y'all to bring the game. And the Lord will raise you up. Hallelujah. 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 If we have to cut back, then the devil has won. We don't want the devil to win, do we? No. I'm sorry, but 2,500 is the best I can 
do for those guns. I'll tell you what, go in the car for five. Almost there. Hands over eyes. Back for No cheating. No cheating. Just a little bit more. Okay, stop. Open your eyes. Yeah. Listen, I would like to add a few more guards to you during the day. Why? Because Connie is offering money for your head. Offer money for my head? Yes. I must be doing something right. Take care of myself. He said anything yet? All we know is that him and his brother were taken by the rebels. Where's his brother? We don't know. You don't want to go play with the other kids? Sometimes it helps to tell somebody what you got locked up inside. Uh, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Hurt a lot of people. Truth is, helping you kids is about the only good thing I've ever done in this life. But I'm scared that one day I'll close my eyes to all this and think it's somebody else's problem. You got no idea what I'm saying, do you? They call you the white preacher. Is this what I should call you? You can call me Sam. <laughs> I hear what you're doing for the children of Sudan, and I, I'm grateful. I, I just wanted to see myself. Well, this is it. You got a couple of hundred with us here. Feed another thousand a day to nearby villages. And you do this, and yet these are not your people. The struggle is not your own. Yeah, well, I've kind of made it my struggle. Until someone else starts fighting to fight for these children, and I'm the one that's going to do it. You're just stop, aren't you? As a mule. <laughs> I wish I had more men like you. There are peace talks scheduled for the end of August in Russia. I would like you to come as my guest. You know, talking about peace in a room somewhere is a waste of time, if you ask me. <laughs> Go out and make it. You speak what is on your mind. I heard this about you. Really? What else did you hear? 
Well, I heard that you don't suffer fools. And that you like a good fight. I heard you were taller. <laughs> so you see, we're not so dissimilar, Sam. You made the fight for these children your struggle. And I made the freedom of southern Sudan my struggle. But part of my struggle happens in these rooms. So you think maybe we could convince you to come to these talks one day? was very clear. I don't see nothing. This is it. No, wait, wait. Here, I got two. Right there. AJ, 19, go get those kids. Thanks. Call camp, tell them we're coming back with two possibly injured. Be careful. On the ridge, between the rocks. Can you reach the Mauser? When I say go, I want you to put all you got into those rocks up there. Ready? Go. Sam, it's me, man. Donnie. Is everybody okay? Yeah, everybody's great, man. I'm just calling to say hey, that's all. Hey. How are the girls? Oh, they're doing great, man. Yeah, Paige made us dinner the other night, chocolate chip pancakes. By herself, huh? Yeah. All by herself. I mean, I helped her with the stove, but 
you know, she mixed it all up. They were real good, too. Uh, so, how, how's it going over there? It's going fine, buddy. Yeah? Man, that must be wild. I'd like to come over there sometime, check it out, you know? Get the hell out of here for a while. That'd be nice. See what that's like. Sounds good. Hey, Sam, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you really think God's gonna forgive us for everything we've done? we got they talk about you in the camps the children they say there is a white creature who hunts the LRA this place does not need more guns Mr. Childers I'm just trying to help these people same as you don't delude yourself you're a mercenary not a humanitarian. I got 200 kids who are gonna sleep safe tonight. Right or wrong, that's all the reason I need. That's how it always starts. With people thinking that they're killing for the right reasons. Why don't you fight the evil in this place your way and let me fight it mine? They say you're doing good, but you have special powers. You're protected by angels and can't be killed by bullets. They said the same thing about Coney in the beginning, too. We don't have room for all of them. Well, how many can we fit in a truck? 20, 25 maximum. What do we got, like 40? Okay, all right, you, you go, you, you go. You go. What are you, you doing? You go. You, you. We've got to take as many as we can. We've got to take the little ones yalla, yalla, and the yalla. ones that are sick. We'll come back for the other ones later. Marco, Adim, take these ones here in the truck. We should call for backup. Okay. No, we got no time. We take the ones we can. You, you, you go. Yeah, you go. Go, go. All right. You, you. Stay, stay. Okay. Tell the other ones we'll come back later. Go, 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 okay? go, go, go. Tell them. You know, man, it's how we left Inja. Don't come back. Don't come back till we see that face. Quick! You know, man, it's how we left Inja. Hey, hey, get in here. Tell him to hide. 
Watch Don't do it till they see my Watch face. Watch Mega hockey. Can't get in. Do mega hockey. You don't have no more space. You don't have Watch it. Watch it. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours to we'll be back. Sorry, man. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Sixteen was all backed up. Welcome home, buddy. Yeah. You must be wiped out, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sixteen was just a fucking mess. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Open your eyes. Wake up. Wake up. Shut up. You call yourselves children of God? Well, you ain't. Now y'all just sheep, following him, deaf, dumb, and blind. But God don't want sheep. Praise the Lord. He wants wolves to fight his fight. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Men and women with teeth yeah. to tear yeah. at the evil that is out there. Yeah. The Lord's prophets are not men in fancy clothes. They're warrior prophets. The men of conviction who ain't afraid to pick up a sword and use it. Why not, huh? Soldiers willing to fight against his enemy wherever they may be. Soldiers willing to fight to their last the breath. Hallelujah! Wake up! I want you, I want you to look at this. It's a, a ten-year-old boy. Doc, he had his arms cut yes. off, just hacked off. It's not what necessary. Right? It's that, not necessary. That, that, that. Could you come back in a minute, please? Here. Uh, please. Now, look, I only got one truck over there. Uh, I need the money to get another vehicle. Now, I found this one in Kampala that I can get. We already took out a second on your home. I, I got a real good deal. Sam, we know what you're doing over there in there Africa, and we snap support it. it. But I'm telling you, we cannot give you any more Thank money. You. Here on what I'm saying. Sam, look at this. You're completely oh. leveraged. See this? Yes. This girl watched her family being killed, and then they set her on fire. This is not necessary. You see that? No, Sam, no, no, John, just look it. at John. John, look at the picture. I'm looking, look Sam. at the picture. Now, I ain't asking for money for a hot club or a vacation or something like that. I'm asking for, for an extra vehicle so that I can save some children, John, okay? Do you more. understand that? I do, but okay, I'm telling you. But right. nothing. But nothing. Now, I need.
need you to, to get in your little your little book there and do whatever it is you gotta do Sam, to get me that mom. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! Mary Strauss and them's having dinner at the chimney. Who's her date? Tony Wilkes. I thought Tony Wilkes was going with Patty Hobbs' daughter. They woke up last night. Mm. Right now, Sudanese opposition leader John Garang has been killed in a helicopter crash. That's according to a statement released by the Sudanese government in Khartoum. Garang was hailed as a peacemaker in Sudan and was instrumental in ending the 21-year civil war that has ravaged that country. Yeah. Six of Garang's associates and seven others also died in the crash, which is being blamed on bad weather. What do you think about us getting a limo for next weekend? Wouldn't be too expensive since there'd be six of us. What do you think? Hello, worth to dad. Honey, you okay? Well, heck, I'll just take you off. We ain't cramming in the back of your caprice. Fit in there easy, you're little. We got dresses, Donnie. We'll get all wrinkled. Plus, it smells in there. Yeah, I'll squirt some perfume and you'll be all right. Dad, what do you think? Can we get a limo? No. Dad, please, Patty and them's getting one. We could probably get a deal through one of Tom Hickey's boys. Wouldn't cost too much between six of them. You ain't spending money on no friggin' limousine. But, Dad... What the hell did I just say? Honey, we're just talking about it. Yeah, well, there's too much talk in this house. Yeah, I got mouths to feed. You're talking about pissing money away on a limo. But it's my formal, Dad. I don't give a shit what it is. Okay, you ain't getting no limo. <laughs> you love them black babies more than you love me. Watch your mouth, oh, girl, hey, 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 hey. What the fuck hey, are you doing? Take it easy, bro. Don't tell me to take it easy in my own fucking house. <laughs> right? Now, that ain't your wife. And this ain't your family. You ain't nothing but a straight fucking dog around here. You don't mean that. Oh, hell, I don't. Now get the fuck out of here before I put your face through that fucking wall. in the papers a few years ago. Called you the machine gun preacher, right? Told you this is the guy. Hot damn, I knew it. The paper's talking about you some kind of a, a African Rambo or something, right? If you don't mind, but I'd just like to sit here right now. You still helping them niggers over there? See, the way I figure it, the reason you're so interested in helping them porch monkeys is probably because you're throwing it in them nigger bitches, ain't you? <laughs> the Lord and did what I could so you could follow your dream but I ain't willing to lose you to what you're doing over there I ain't just gonna sit back and watch you get swallowed up by it now I know that you're all them kids got over there but you're all we got too Paige needs her father damn it Sam I need my husband
shit, man. Where the hell are you? This is Sam. Leave a message. Where's Donnie, man? Shit, I was hoping you'd be there. thinking about when we were kids. And in the summertime, we'd go over to that quarry near Montrose. Remember that? We'd uh, bring our ropes and go swimming. Climb around on the wall. She was here to pray with me. Well, he wants me to stand up here to make some sense out of this. Tell you there's some meaning. purpose for what happened to Donnie. That's why you came here today. And I want me to tell you that, that God has his plan for all of us. And when it's time to call us on home, he's, he's just going to do it. That's what you want me to say. But that's not what I'm going to tell you. Mom, who are those men? I don't know. Hey, did you just go? No, no, I don't think that's going Excuse me, what are you doing? Loading up. Sam, what is going on? What is the last of the tools? Are they taking our stuff? In ours no more. Let's go through it and make sure they ain't taking anything that belongs. Hey, don't you touch that. Baby. I know you're hurting. I know you're angry, but we need to talk about this. It's all done. So save your breath. You sold the business? You sold the business? I need a new truck for the orphanage. A new truck? You sold the business for a new truck? That was our future. Paige's future, Sam. Everything that we have has gone to those children. There's a point, baby, when there ain't no more to give. What's the combination? What's the combination? Paige's birthday. You don't know it, do you? You don't remember your own daughter's birthday. But you fight for everyone for us. What ministry, Sam? They see how far gone you are. They see what you've become. You need to get quiet with the Lord. No, you know what? I'm done with the Lord. No, don't you say that. Don't you turn your back on him. Turn his back on me, huh? Where is he, Lynn? Where is the Lord now? Because I don't see him around here. Did he save Donnie? Did he save those kids? I didn't save those kids. Please don't leave. Welcome back.
Puss. Yeah, going to kill us. If you move, they're gonna shoot. Calm down. We're gonna go talk to them. It's okay, we're a relief convoy. Relief convoy. We've only got medical supplies, we're non-military. <laughs> The men no longer trust you to lead them into battle. They say you have a wish to die. I'm worried about my friend. Yeah. I remember my parents in their sleep. My father was big like you. They shot him. The rebels gave me a clap and told me if I didn't kill my mother, I'll shoot my brother and me. And so I killed my mother. If we allow ourselves to be full of hate, then the world We must not let them take our hearts.
Harvey, can you get that? Hello? Bug, you there? Dead? Yeah, it's me. Are you okay? I'm thinking of a tree. You said tree, I'm thinking of a knee. You said knee. I'm thinking of a bee. I love you, Buck. I love you too, Dad. Sam, what's going on? An LRD unit has been spotted. They are moving north across the border. What are we waiting for then? Okay. Gotta go. Hey. Hey, I'm going to go. Iwa. Iwa, Mafum. Mafum. Galat. Tamam. The village outside of Accord says an LRA caravan came to an hour ago. Daram, come on. Push in, everybody. There you go. Sam, I cannot make them work. This is the only one we have. Preaching. We're staying. Go on, get out of here.
come from far away My boots don't know this ground But they know it's real It doesn't take too long For this road to become A battlefield And before I let one more fire go out Understand that I won't give One inch of ground from beneath Yours and my feet Whatever the prize happens to be But I am the keeper Beauty and truth collide Where love meets genocide Where laughter meets fear That have never known singing And before I let one more tear hit the ground I would be the one standing between you And the sound of the rounds Echoing out, out of the dark The smoke and the spark Aimed at the heart of the flame sit here and give all kinds of excuses to make it right. I, I can't do. But what I want to ask everyone out there, everyone that has a child, everyone that has a brother or a sister, if your child or your family member was abducted today, if a, if a madman came in, a terrorist came in, abducted your family member or your child, and if I said to you, I can bring your child home, does it matter how I bring them home?